like, oh my goodness, there's so much information that people need to know and this has changed my life. And we're trying to wake other people up and we're like trying to jolt them awake and they're not ready to be awakened. And then we have to accept the fact too that they may never awaken in this lifetime because that's not the path that they're on. That's not what they chose. So find a way to Hello everyone, my name is Monica and today's video is titled, When You Speak But No One Can Hear You. I want to start off this video by reading something that I shared on my Instagram a while back. I don't know who the author is so I can't give them credit for this quote, but it says, You can only deliver the message to those who are a vibrational match to the message. So don't stress yourself with those who can't hear you. So obviously I'm not talking literally, like if you're with someone, but there's a lot of loud noise, like you're at a concert or something and you're like, huh? Wait, what? I can't hear you. <laughs> I'm talking more metaphorically. For example, two people who may be having a conversation about something and they're both on drastically different levels of consciousness. And the person who hasn't expanded their consciousness as much as the person they're talking to who has spent a lot of time expanding their consciousness, they may not be able to perceive what that person is saying. So in, in those cases, it's almost like speaking a different language. Like you just don't understand and it's like you can't hear that person. I'm trying to think of some examples right now to make this more tangible. Uh, I'll think of some of the biggest controversial topics that are kind of happening. There might be people who believe that, I don't know, Trump is racist and he's sexist. And so they're trying to spread that message around because they're coming from a place of trying to do what they think is best. And what they think is best is for Trump not to be president. And so they're trying to get everybody else to also change their belief so that they'll vote for someone else, a Democrat, I guess, so that they feel like they've made the best decision for the country and because that ultimately impacts them, let's say. Or there's people who are pro-BLM and there's people who don't support BLM. And there might be people saying that if you don't support BLM, then you're racist and you're a bad person. And some people might say that if you do support BLM, then you're supporting a hidden agenda and that's going to keep us divided and separated. And you may have some people who have strong beliefs about certain foods that you eat and they believe that, I don't know, um, that you need to eat a lot of protein if you don't eat a lot of protein, then you're going to be unhealthy and die. Or other people might think, no, you shouldn't be eating a lot of protein. You should be eating more carbs. And that's what's going to keep you healthiest. And I feel like most people, for the most part, are coming from a good place. But ultimately, what we need to remember is that we all have free will. We have the freedom to choose our thoughts, which means we have the freedom to choose our emotions. And that means we have the freedom to choose our actions. We have the freedom to choose what we say, how we respond or we react. We have the freedom to choose our beliefs. And that actually is a beautiful thing when I really think about it. So even when I don't necessarily agree with someone else's belief, I still respect the fact that they have the right to believe it and for them to do them as long as they're not imposing their beliefs on me or anyone else. And I mean that by like bullying or harassing people who don't believe what they believe. And as long as they're not hurting themselves or other people, destroying the planet or hurting any living sentient being, I'm like, go ahead. <laughs> you do you. That's fine. But what's wonderful about today, especially with technology, is that we have the freedom to express our opinions and beliefs online, like I am now doing with YouTube. And if we do feel strongly about something like a certain cause, or we want to bring awareness to something, 
then we can, you know, create a page or something. We can create a website. We can create a social media account. We can make videos. We can share blogs. And we can advocate for whatever it is that we believe in. And people who are a vibrational match to the message you're sharing will find you some way, somehow. And of course, there's going to be people who aren't a vibrational match to it, who just want to pick holes at your beliefs and people who want to interrogate you into changing your belief or admitting that you're wrong. And I feel that those people are very set in the ego mind. They have been so brainwashed and so indoctrinated in this matrix that they can't even begin to comprehend a lot of concepts out of their realm of comfort. They have very strong beliefs and they don't want to hear anything from anyone who might oppose something that they believe. And so in order to feel right, they have to make other people wrong. Because in their minds, if they believe they're right, then that means anyone who says anything contrary to what they believe is wrong. And that's a very narrow-minded way of living. And I will admit there have been many times that I was closed-minded about certain things. And later on, as I got more information and did some research, I completely changed my outlook on certain things and my beliefs just like completely switched. Things I never thought I would be into or I would support, all of a sudden I was. And so now I'm at a point where I try to consciously decide not to be married to any certain ideas or beliefs. I know what my morals and values and my beliefs are and my opinions on things, but I am also open to hearing out other people and to having a discussion, like a very civil discussion about it, and to learn more. There are people who are genuinely interested and learning more and they're curious, so they ask questions and they're trying to have a conversation about it. And then there's people who are just not interested in knowing what you have to say, but they just want to argue for the sake of arguing. And so I don't engage with those people on that level who just want to argue. I'm like, I'll either walk away or try to steer the conversation a different direction. I believe all that we can do is lead by example. Like they say, be the change that you want to see in the world. Be a prime role model for whatever beliefs you have and show that. And you can try to talk to people about it. I know you get, we get excited and we want to share certain things with people we're close to, especially after, let's say, having a spiritual awakening. We're like, oh my goodness, there's so much information that people need to know and this has changed my life. And we're trying to wake other people up and we're like trying to jolt them awake and they're not ready to be awakened. And then we have to accept the fact, too, that they may never awaken in this lifetime because that's not the path that they're on. That's not what they chose. And again, there's that power of choice, of having free will. I know that's so hard to swallow sometimes because let's say if someone's really religious and they believe in heaven and hell and they're trying so hard to make sure that their family is following certain rules of the religion so that they can save their soul so they don't go to hell. But our beliefs too are all relative. Just because we believe one thing doesn't mean everyone else has to believe the same thing. And no matter what happens, worst case scenario, we all die at some point because we're not getting out of this life alive. That's just part of life. Death is a big part of life. Is that no matter what we've done in this lifetime, at least I believe that we all go back to source after that. And so worst case is we didn't learn what we came to earth to learn and we have to come back and do it again, which I know may just sound terrible to a lot of people. But I feel some kind of comfort knowing that, that no matter what people decide to do, it's all going to be okay in the end. And that's why if people don't believe what I believe or, or follow the same lifestyle that I have, then it's okay. All we can do is present the information. We can share what we know, our experiences. We can share the research we found. 
but if other people don't comprehend it or they don't accept it, they just reject that information flat out, that is their choice and respect that. But if people are showing interest, if they're open-minded and they're like, hey, I'd like to learn more about that, or they're just okay with you talking about it in general, then I say, hey, go for it. That's awesome. You found someone who maybe resonate with the message and you can share that with them. But please don't stress yourself out for people who are not a vibrational match to the message that you're sending out. As long as you're, I think as long as you're being your true authentic self, and like I said, you're being a role model, you're setting an example by the way that you live, that's the best thing you can do. And others who are vibrating on that same level will come to you, they will find you. But I don't think that we should go out and try to force people to believe what we believe or change their opinions about something. So if someone doesn't get your message, I would say don't spend all your time and energy arguing back and forth with them. You end up going in circles too, it seems like. Just accept that they don't resonate with the message and then move on. Move on to someone who will get it. Like when I make these videos, I know not everybody's going to agree with everything I say. They're not going to agree with every message I present. And I'm not concerned with the people who don't want to get it. I'm only concerned with the people who do want to get it, who do want to learn more, who are getting something valuable out of the message. And of course, just as people who are vibrational matched to your message will find you, haters, trolls, people who, like I said, you want to pick a fight will find you too. But you don't have to concern yourself with those people. And that's the nature of duality. <laughs> that's the world that we live in. And who knows, one day those people may change their mind about a certain belief that they disagreed with you on and they will come back to you and ask you for help or advice or just want to talk more about it. They'll become more open to it. But in the meantime, don't stress out about it. Move on. Talk to other people about it. Keep sharing what you believe in and don't deprive the people who really do want to get that information and they can't find you if you're not putting it out there. All right, everyone, that is my video for today. Hopefully that was helpful in some way or maybe give you a different perspective on this topic or just a healthy reminder of, yeah, not everyone's gonna agree and you may be doing the best you can and really, really want to help somebody, but they also have free will to not accept help. They ultimately have to decide to help themselves. And if they make that decision, then you can in turn assist them with that decision and help them. All right, I hope you all have a fantastic day or night and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone.